Hello everyone and welcome to Better We Wednesdays. Today we are talking about the dreaded SAT exam. So grab your drink of choice and you'll want a pen and paper because you'll definitely want to take notes today. Let me start by saying the SAT is commonly used as the entrance exam for colleges, but there is also the ACT exam and many students use that as well. You can take either exam, but today I'm focused on the SAT only. So put on your seatbelt, here's everything you need to know. When and where do I sign up? This Friday, July 28th, I repeat, this Friday, July 28th, is the deadline to register for the August 26th test date. So if your teen misses this test date, the next exam is October 7th, and the registration deadline is like September 8th. So if you're gonna be out of town on August 26th, you can certainly look up and see where else in the country this exam is given and whoo, surprise your teen that they're taking the exam. Uh, where do I sign up? You wanna to go to collegeboard.org, that's .org. You're gonna click on register for SAT, August SAT. You'll be prompted to log in or to create an account if you don't have one already. All right, what do you sign up for? So let's just get the vocabulary out of the way. There are three different SAT exams. So there is the SAT, there is the SAT with the writing portion, and there is the SAT subject exams, okay? So you're gonna want to sign up, most of you are gonna wanna sign up for the SAT, and that may be all you need. If you're applying to any major public institution, such as the Cal States, University of Wisconsin, Alabama, Colorado, Arizona State, Oregon State, uh, Indiana University, uh, UNC Chapel Hill, or SUNY Buffalo, things like, places like that, they want the SAT and that's all they need, that's all they require. The SAT with the writing portion. You'll want to add the writing portion if you're applying to any major private institution or, and or competitive public institution. For example, you better believe that H, Y, P, and S, Harvard, Yale, Princeton and Stanford do require the writing portion, as does the University of California system, and so does UT Austin. So check out the schools you're applying to to see if you need it, and uh, be sure to register for the correct exam. The SAT subject exams. Here are four things you need to know, so please write this down. One, there are several exams offered in literature, history, science, and foreign languages. Two, they are not all offered on the same test date. Three, you can sign up for three subject exams on the same test date, but you cannot take the SAT exam at the same, on the same date, okay? So you wanna plan ahead if you're taking subject exams on one date and the SAT and or the, S and, uh, the, or the SAT writing uh, on a different date. So plan ahead. Number four, most colleges do not require the subject exams, but some do recommend that you take them, if you're, especially if you're uh, applying to a very competitive major, such as chemical engineering. So my advice is this. If you are applying to a college that requires the SAT plus the writing portion and applying to a competitive major at that college, I would take the appropriate subject exam. Okay. How to get your free, free personalized improvement plan. Here is a big tip today. So, oh my God, you want to write this down. In June 2015, College Board partnered with Khan Academy, giving them exclusive rights to work directly with SAT takers to improve their test scores for free. So since then, 3.7 million students have taken advantage of this free uh, plan and even better news, after one full year of the new SAT, here are the results. With 20 hours of practice on an improvement plan, the average increase was 115 points. 115 points. And even with six to eight hours of practice, the average increase was about 90 points. So here's a tip. It is not too late to push hard and see results. So here are three things more that you need to know, so write these down. One, go to satpractice.org to create an account. That's with Khan Academy. Two, you're going to link your Khan Academy account and the College Board account. 
three, go to collegeboard.org to find your PSAT scores from junior year and send them to Khan Academy account. Then they will give you a personalized improvement plan based on what your strengths are and where your areas of improvement need to be. And voila, they've made a plan for you. So when you make a plan, you work the plan and your plan will work. Okay, that's all for me from me today. Let me know if you signed up. I would love to hear your feedback on the Khan Academy program and the partnership. Wherever you are, may you have a happy and sunny day. Take care. Bye-bye.